Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, SAP with Harsh. Uh, it's been quite some time I haven't posted any video, so here I am. Uh, today's topic is quota arrangement in uh, embedded PPDS. So there was a requirement by the business that if we have three resources, which is equivalent to work center or machine in uh, production planning, then each machine also has some certain capacity that they can work on. Right, so here we say that okay, we have three resources, uh, three work centers, and if you give the requirement, okay, or the forecast um, on the same day, right? So there are multiple forecasts on the same day. How system will behave, right? How the machine should be utilized, and also there was a requirement on that automation. How I can automate the. Uh, of uh, loading the machines right if there is a way that this automation uh, result can be manipulated or manual way to overwrite by the planner and the third way was to provide the priority by the planner right uh, so that machine or the resource can be automatically suggested by the system right so um, i tried doing it uh, in, in our sandbox system which I will show you right now so what are the requirements the prerequisites right so from the master data point of view in S4 HANA you need material master with advanced planning tick mark that has to be activated so that this uh, material becomes product in your PPDS you would need bomb components that has to be um, transferred towards the PPDS you would need the routing as well because you need operations to perform the activities. So here I have created uh, three routings uh, with the similar group, right? But with a different group counters. The reason is because we have three work centers that needs to be assigned. When you have three uh, group counters, then you would also need production versions, which is mandatory for S4 HANA. Uh, and it becomes your product data structure PDS in EPPDS, right? So we have three um, production versions as well and then resources, right? So resources are also uh, part of um, uh, your PPDS. So it also has to move there and for that you need advanced planning tick mark. So all of this master data one by one I will show you so that you guys are also aware what needs to be set up properly and what master data do we need in EPPDS side so once you have the production version which will be transferred as PDS in EPPDS we would need the change mode for PPDS right uh, so that I can give the priority to the resources then we need quota arrangement also needs to be defined in EPPDS that also I will show you. Uh, we would run the quota arrangement heuristic to get the automation and we would need product heuristic so that system gives you the requirements and then you can manipulate uh, as you want. So we would also need product heuristic. So one by one, let's go in the system and see um, how the master data looks like in S4 HANA and also the embedded PPDS. So to save the time, I have already opened all the required master data that I want to show you. So let's go in the routing first, right? So BOM I have not opened. BOM is not a very big deal. Okay, so now I have bomb as well. So let's start with the material master. Uh, I'm not going in details of each tab, which I have already posted in my previous videos. You can go and uh, take a look. So the main um, tab that you should have for the material to become product in PPDS would be 
your advanced planning tab you should have a tick mark right i'm using uh, the required plan explosion which is coming from the uh, s4 hana side towards the ppds planning procedure i'm using two and i'm giving the product heuristic as sap pp underscore zero zero two right i'm using strategy 10 so i can give the forecast as well now let's go towards um, the work center side so now i have three work centers i'm showing you only one and it is pretty similar i have used the copy functionality to copy work center one uh, i have one i have two and then i have four i'm skipping three that is used earlier for some something else so now i have one two and four and to move uh, the work center as a resource in eppds we would need the advanced planning tick mark so once you uh, tick mark and save it it will automatically go as a resource in your uh, eppds side right apart from that uh, i have routing uh, bomb i will show you so like i mentioned i have three group counters and each one of them has work center one uh, two and four okay so one by one we can go inside so here you can see work center one all right they all have base quantity and machine uh, hours as same so we'll go to a machine two okay and then machine 3 or we can say resource 3 um, like I mentioned I'm skipping 3 and I'm going to work center 4 right so once I have created uh, three group counters with the same group number so let's take a look um, in the bomb as well I'm having very simple bomb so one finished product I need only one raw material okay and then the base quantity is one is to one if i go to header so for making one product i need only uh, one as my item all right so that was bomb we have seen routing and let's see the production version so like i mentioned we have uh, three different resources or work centers then i would need three different production versions i have pds one two and three and here you can see I have assigned three different group counters and my group is still the same and the bomb uh, is only one so I have assigned only one as my bomb in my PDS okay PDS will be in your PPDS and here we call it as a production version okay now let's see what is pending uh, yeah so you need to uh, send this PDS, okay, uh, from S4 HANA to PPDS. It will not go automatically. For that, what you can do is under the production, you have um, master data. Then you have PDS for advanced planning, okay and then you can use the PDS transfer okay I will give this material or whatever material you may create give the plant scroll down okay make sure there is no test mode activated and do the absolute transfer if it is a first time and if you're moving any changes suppose you have changed the description or something then you can use the change transfer the, run, the transaction code will be Curto, curto adv underscore create okay so i have already done this step that's why i can show you my pds product data structure all right and like i mentioned here in my document that we would need uh, i would need to go in the change mode of pds to provide the priority to the resource so here i have given the priority so priority goes one two and three um pds1 okay uh, for number two i have given second priority and for the third machine i have given the third priority okay 
so you can do the priority or you can see the priority only in the change mode that's why i'm in the change mode right now okay and mm, all right so i believe i have already covered all the master data apart from the quota arrangements right so in ppds we would need the quota arrangements that has to be defined and then this definition also you can do i'll show you the path so for this you need to go in the advanced planning go to the master data and then under the quota arrangements you click on quota arrangements so the same place i am already in the fury again to see the product and the item or the versions that you may have created you need to be in the change mode and you need to click here right which is uh, quota arrangements item once you click here it will give you the assignment that you have already done you can do the new assignments by clicking here if you may have like fourth version and you have to scroll down and you need to select in house production and then here if you suppose have number 4 it will give you the information over here okay right now i have already assigned all three that means i don't have any extra value so system does not give me any uh, selections okay so that's uh, the quota arrangement so to create the quota arrangement you have to give the model number uh, location it has to be version dependent and the active version and it will be inbound quota arrangements so if you create a new one this should be your selection okay so uh, once you have completed the master data which i have already mentioned here and then you would need to have the quota arrangement heuristic that has to be assigned into your uh, overall profile which i have already created a customized one for myself so i'll show you this later and the product heuristic which i already showed you in the material master which i have used okay so this completes the master data and the settings that we would need to run this scenario so let's see the execution part so i will go towards uh, the transaction which is apo underscore rrp3 okay and the product view this is my product and what i will do is i will try to load multiple demands on the same day okay so let's select so i'm giving 19th okay i will copy this date put it here and to give the demands we always give in the negative quantity so we have 600 and then i can enter 700 okay so once you enter it becomes your uh, demand right one important point that i would again go in the quota arrangement go in the change mode right so here you can see there is something called as requirement splitting okay so how this works if you have your demand more than 500 right and then you run your quota heuristic then only it will split the quantities so right now what i'm trying to do is i'm giving the uh, forecast which is more than 500 however we will be running the product heuristic first and see how the system uh, behaves what is the output and what is the resource or the work center which is selected by the system and then in the next step when we run the quota arrangement heuristic then this particular splitting and the minimum quantity will be taken into consideration that point has to be uh, noted down okay so once i have this i can click on the product heuristic okay i don't have to make any selections i will say adopt right now here you can see there are two plan orders which are already created by the system okay now let's move towards the right hand side to evaluate what resources has been selected 
so here you can see work center 1 and work center 2 is already selected because these are my priorities so the first priority goes to work center 1 and the second priority goes to work center 2 if you have the same uh, day requirements right system is pushing it to your work center 2 it does not give a complete load on the work center 1 right now this is the system uh, way of creating the resource or loading the resource uh, depending upon your forecast okay however if planner says no i want to load my second quantity as well on the first machine that is also possible so if i double click here the 701 right go down i do have option of changing my uh, source of supply which is nothing but my resource right here you can see the priority which we have already set right and here you can see the uh, production versions name so one two and three so right now one and two is selected i want to load it on the third one i can still do it by double clicking here or i want to load it on the first one itself i can still do it so i will say i want to move it on the first one i will say adopt okay here you can see it is changed from two to one and let's say save okay planning result saved let's go back and evaluate again so i have already saved that means my plan orders are already saved and i got the number range as well okay so the we, we have moved from one to two let's see it did not do it so i will delete it once again okay let's save it and we run the product heuristic once again okay so again i got the plan orders So I have one and two, I'll pick this up and move it so that we don't have to scroll. Okay, so number two, I want to push it on the first machine. select the first priority okay adopt I won't save it let's see. go back now here you can see the number two is gone and it's loaded already on the first one okay So now both the resources are loaded on the first machine or the first work center right so here my requirement which is a uh, manual way to override by the planner has been achieved right now system automatically gives me the uh, output based upon my priority set right one two and three it was one and two and then i have uh, overridden uh, manually okay so this is uh, one way of doing it right now let's delete this so 
I still have the required quantity okay 700 and 600 so to make it clear let's delete one more and make this as thousand okay so one quantity of thousand and then if I run now quota heuristic, it will be automatically divided into the percentage that we have seen in the quota, which was 30, 30 and 40. So let's see if I still have it open. Yeah. So here you can see I have given the percentage, right? So 30% on the first machine. 40% on the second machine and again 30% on the third machine okay so if I give it and I would say I need to run the variable heuristic where I can run the quota arrangement right so if you see the drop down there is no quota arrangement because like I mentioned I have assigned it to my custom uh, profile I need to go in the user settings and here you have multiple uh, profiles here heuristic profile I need to change it to my profile which I have custom created okay and I say save current so once I do it now I can see the drop down has changed right now I have quota heuristic so if I select this and say okay now as soon as I click on heuristic it goes into uh, each one of the uh, source of supply that I have available from the quota so here you can see the number PDS1, if I say adopt, it will change to 2, now if I say adopt, it goes into the third source of supply. Okay, so I can see quota is run, let's go back, and now you analyze the result. What do you see? It has broken down the requirement which was 1000 quantities into the quota arrangement percentage that I have given 30 40 and 30 okay so what do we understand here if you run the quota heuristic it will take the requirement from the master data that you have maintained from the quota and then it will break down into the required quantity now one scenario the last scenario I would say is the splitting part right so we have discussed about the splitting part and the quantity was 500 uh, let's go and check once again here you have splitting indicator and then you have 500 now when this will work okay so let's understand that so for that again we would clear the plan orders And then make this as maybe like 600 okay and then give again multiple loading on the same date so minus 400 I'm giving lesser than 500 as well and then So I have 600, 700 and 400, okay. So if I run right now again the quota heuristic, what should have uh, system will consider? So it will check that, okay, there is one quantity which is lesser than the splitting quantity as 500, then this will be considered on one machine. And these quantities will be again broken down into 30, 40 and 30 percentage, and then it will be allocated on the different machines. 
okay so let's see if it works So now I run again and like I mentioned it will go and check for all three machines. Okay. Now here you can see one plan order is created for 400 quantities. Like I mentioned that this 400 because it was lesser than the spreading quantity it will be directly on the first machine. Okay. And here you can see again first machine first machine and the second machine then it goes to second machine and then the fourth machine so it if you calculate this right it will be broken down into your 30 40 and again 30 percent how do we know that this 400 is uh, connected so we have this pegging overview okay so once you go in the pegging overview you look into this 400 right and it will be the one plan order it is not broken down and remaining quantities it is broken down okay so here you can see 700 is broken down into 180 plus 210 then 600 is again broken down into 240 and 280 and then again 700 is broken down right so you can also try this scenario and let me know in the comments if you are able to um, replicate this as per the master data setup uh, I have mentioned you right and um, if you like this video give me a thumbs up and do share with your friends who are also working or learning EPPDS um, soon I will be releasing one more video on the multi resource heuristic right so subscribe if you want to see that video as well and uh, thank you thank you for watching and have a nice day